I rolled over in my bed. I had been tossing and turning for a while, right, left, up and down. Up and down? Yeah, whatever. I can't sleep. It wasn't a surprise. How could a man sleep knowing an Akra and Coco were under the very same roof? Their chatter had quieted down by the time I got out of the bath. They were probably asleep by now. It's just no use. There was no way I was getting to sleep. What could I do? Let's see. Well, if I recall, he went to get a drink last time we got this choice, long ago that it was, but this time you shall try and fall asleep anyway. Uh, I wish Watara was here. No doubt he would have done something stupid and pissed the girls off so that they went home. It's, it's weird, really, when you try to sleep. Like, when you actually try. If you don't try, you fall asleep easy. But if you're trying, it takes hours. Like the other day, I went to sleep around 12, but I actually fell asleep like 7 in the morning or something. That's how ridiculous it can get. Wait, wouldn't that be a bad thing? Sure, I meant something else. Oh, that was it. You would have kept me company on my sleepless night, talking about pervy stuff. And then he would have got so excited and snuck into their room, causing them to get upset and go home. That's not good at all. I don't want to upset them. No, Wataru would not have done me any good. Ah, I've never wanted morning to come so quickly. What about Tsunami? How would that have gone? I'd rather be surrounded by the bright morning than stuck in this mentally anguished night. What? Somebody was knocking on my door. E yes? I rolled out of bed and opened the door. Coco? Coco was standing in the doorway. She was wearing a cardigan over her pajamas. Uh, yeah, um, uh, what? Typo! That's a bit more than a typo than I thought, actually. Can't sleep. Crap, I was barely articulate. Or maybe that was the point, because he didn't say it properly. Coco just stared at me in confusion. Uh, <clears throat> this is to say I was just drifting off. She tried to leave in a hurry. Oh no no no, it's okay, I can sleep anytime, I'm totally wide awake. I was babbling, and as usual I wasn't being honest at all. Yeah, anyway, it's cold in the hallway. Why don't you come in? Uh, uh. Coco entered my room, seeming a little stunned. Meanwhile, Yoshiki this whole time is probably thinking, Wait, why did I just let her into my room? Here, have a seat on the bed. Uh, uh. He hasn't quite sunk in for him yet, has it? She seemed a little uncomfortable as she climbed onto my bed, ultimately resting her back against the wall and clasping her knees. What's going on? Ah, uh, shit. I was trying so hard to look casual that I just ended up looking weird. I knelt on the floor instead. So, what's the matter? How do you want me to sit? She was right, I should just act naturally. How does one act naturally when they're trying to act naturally? It doesn't work, does it? I sat next to Coco on the bed. Coco's shoulders shivered as if she was cold. I put my blanket over her shoulders. She also covered my shoulders with a blanket. Your head is going to get cold too. We both lifted the blanket over our heads. Then we both burst out laughing. That's true. As I pulled the blanket from my head, I saw Coco's face in front of me. My heart skipped a beat. So... Uh, 
全然大したことじゃないんだけど。Makes me wonder if any of them snore. Like she goes knock on his door, she can hear it. You're like, oh, I just had to fall in love with someone that snores like that. Oh well. なんかお話したいなって。Coco murmured on like usual. She had a bad habit of rambling when she got nervous. I've got a bad habit. It was rambling in general. I'd seen that way. They'd seen her that way many times since the day we first met. She did it a lot in front of me. I was sure she never struggled with her train of thought when she was with Anjo Akane. I never knew why, but I saw her like this all the time. It was like her self-confidence drained away. But it was also pretty cute. Joe, to me, I said thank you very much. No problem. Yeah, it's the first time. What feels weird? She smiled as she spoke. Her face looked beautiful in the moonlight that poured in through the window. I've seen her almost every day since I first met her. Was she always this beautiful? Huh? Oh no, I was so busy staring at her, I just spaced out. Join the club. I space out quite often. It really does bother me, though. I was listening, but I couldn't hear you because you were speaking so quietly. Anyway, I、uh, say it again. What do you mean? Yeah, if you took ten guys, I bet all ten would think she's cute. So, Janakte, Yoshiki Honi no Ike. Oh, why are you asking me that? Coco mumbled something to herself and trailed off again. We remained silent for a while. You know, I wonder if Yoshiki is going to take this the whole wrong way. <laughs> He's just like, wait, Coco is in love with Nanaka. Nosebleed moment for him, and then he's just like, so am I going to be their Cupid? Just like, no, you will be their stupid, you idiot. Do you not realize? Inferior? How? That side of Nanaka drives her personality. It's the way she communicates, but it caused her problems at times too. Well, quite a lot of times, really, isn't it? You don't have to be jealous of that. Nanaka is Nanaka, and you are you. I'm sure there are parts of you that she envies too. Well, we've seen it from both perspectives now, so yes. Yeah, people are greedy. They always want what they don't have. True that. And then when they have what they wanted, they're just like, huh, it's not quite what I was expecting, actually. They feel jealous when someone has something that they don't. So, come on. I don't know what you bring this all up in reference to, but I think you should live according to your own style. Yes, you can. I just said something very embarrassing. I started stretching to cover it up. Yoshiki was so good, na. But you are so dense, though. Why? It's no more so na koto kangae ru yo ni natta no. What? You think I can't have mature thoughts or something? <laughs> so da yo ne. Fuzoku sotsugyo da mon ne. That's right. We're graduating from the affiliated school soon and moving up to the main campus. Just like Coco, who looked so beautiful under the moonlight, who was growing every day too. Hmm. 
I stretch my back a little. Yoshiki. Huh? What? My heart thumps. Why was she asking me this so seriously? Well, uh, um. What about you, Coco? You're pretty popular, you know. Is there someone special in your heart? So, so much. Is it? Oh, what's his name? You know, the guy from the soft club. Huh? I thought you had a massive crush on him. Huh? Was that all she was interested in, or what? Oh, sorry to hear it. That's typical for Akane. So, tell me, who do you like? <laughs> Are you in love with someone? Yoko looked me straight in the eyes. Her eyes were full of heartache as if accusing me of something. How do their eyes have heart ache in them? Shouldn't it? I could have worded it a bit differently, you know? We were so close to each other that I could feel her breath. Suddenly, the wind picked up. It blew so hard that it rattled against the window. Goku snapped back to reality as she heard it. She rushed to the door as she spoke. She closed the door behind her. I stared into the darkness after her. What? What the hell? I collapsed onto my bed out of confusion and exhaustion. I could smell Coco's scent on my blankets. Shit, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. The talk with Coco wasn't going to do anything for my insomnia. Like, shit, why do you have to do that, Coco? No, I can't even sleep. And I couldn't sleep in the first place. How the hell does that even work? Uh... Oh, if it does. Yeah, we can go a bit further. I barely got any sleep at all. I'll join the club. Well, actually, I slept quite a few hours, but there are days where I'm up all day with only like four hours sleep. Because sleeping in the night just feels. Well, unusual for me at times, because I'm an overnight person. I just kept turning things over and over again in my head until morning came. That's exactly how my mind does things. I'm exhausted. Oh no, the eggs are burning! I turned off the stove. The eggs were a golden brown as I neatly set them across three plates. I just need to toast the bread and wonder what they want to drink. I had coffee, tea, milk, and orange juice. They should be able to find something they like. I couldn't imagine they would start asking for vegetable juice or something. Uh, oh, hi huh? Oh, oh, hi -o. Coco came downstairs. She had changed out of her pajamas and was in her regular clothes. She'd probably already finished washing her face. Yeah. That's not true, I can only make simple things. <laughs> well, food's almost ready, can you go and wake up Nanaka? <laughs> Toko headed back to the guest room where Nanaka was still sleeping. And then... <laughs> I guess Tanaka's not a morning person. Neither am I. I could hear Kogu trying so hard to wake her up. Though I have a very odd kind of moment a while back as well. It's like I slept through. It was the exact moment where it like took till 7 to go to sleep. And around about 10, I was just like woke up by my dad, just like. Because. Someone's here for me, just like, oh, okay, okay, whatever. And I instantly just wake up, get 
dressed and all that. And then when I finally start to wake up, I'm just like, what the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> it's just like, weird experience when you wake up, like, and you haven't really fully woken up. And then, like, you go somewhere, and then you start to wake up and just like, how did I get here? That's too long! And ah, too delayed. I call back and in zone with her from the kitchen. Just a bit delay. Then Nakar slept, she slept hard. <laughs> Reminds me of Naoki. Koko continued like that for quite some time. <laughs> Good morning. Naka was still half asleep as she made her way into the kitchen and Coco was beside her, smiling awkwardly. Naka was still in her pajamas. She looked a little sexy. Coco started adjusting Naka's pajamas to make decent and dragged her out of their kitchen. I could hear the interactions from the bathroom. It was funny hearing Nanaka so out of it like that. <laughs> Good grief, there it goes again. I guess she's not going to be ranting any time soon. I finished cooking and started reading the newspaper. Today was the second day of the year. Unsurprisingly, the paper was still full of New Year's stories. Anytime I freaking read the news, it's always absolute bullshit. Just really crappy news. Why can't they report something decent? It's always, oh, tragedy, 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 and oh, yes, tragedy, tragedy, sports, tragedy, tragedy, celebrity, celebrity, tragedy, tragedy. Where's the good news in that? Oh, there's no such thing as good news. There's gotta be good in the world, man. You can't just have all this negative shit. Yeah, but, you know, it sells more, you know, if it's negative. I mean, if it's just, like, an inspirational good story, nobody gives a shit about that for the most part. They'd rather hear about terrorism and shit like that. So they end up just posting that crap. It's just so... Ugh. Again, off subject, and Naka washed her face and changed her clothes. At last, we were able to sit down at the table. What do you want to drink? I have coffee, tea... Oh wow, I was expecting vegetable juice at the worst. <laughs> okay. I poured tea for them and made coffee for myself. Then we dug in. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I had potatoes left over. What? Anaka gave me a thumbs up. Anaka approved. What a weird compliment. <laughs> But then would they get into arguments where he's like, No, I'll make the dinner today, honey. No! I'll make it. Why don't we make it together? No! No! I'll make it. I'll make it. No, I'll make it. I'll make it. And all of just like ingredients flying all over the kitchen. I'll make it. I'll get it. Damn it. Coco's face was a bit red as she continued to knock her eyes, smiled at her indulgently. Oh, I don't know about that. I almost agreed with her. That said, I wouldn't mind cooking for my wife. I kind of like cooking after all. I can cook, but I haven't cooked in years. So, by that, I forgot how to cook. 
I used to be able to cook, but I just like, at some point I was just like, ah, oh, bollocks to this, and I haven't really bothered since. Which is a shame, really, because I was actually not all that bad at cooking. Better than my dad, anyway. He tends to just like, be like, okay, I'll put this pizza in here, and then I'll bugger off, come back, completely burnt. Wouldn't happen with me, because I'd be freaking constantly checking the damn thing. <laughs> it was smiling, so I decided to play along and smile too. My wife, huh? I wonder what kind of girl she would be. Plot twist, it turns out to be a man. The three of us finished eating breakfast. Cook and Alaka were washing the dishes for me. I got another cup of coffee and started reading the newspaper again. Really? No problem. Anaka bowed apologetically to Coco. She waved brightly as she left the house. Are you sure? Okay. I was drinking coffee, but oh well. I didn't mind having cocoa there a little while longer. I've mentioned this before, but I'm like Dojima. I make some damn good coffee and tea. Apparently. I don't know why. I just like... I don't get it. It's just simple to make, isn't it? I mean, you just like, you just bug this in, that, stir, done. But for some reason, my coffee and tea are preferred compared to everybody else in the family making it. In the end, Coco stayed at my house until around noon. She even cleaned the house for me. I feel bad for making you work so hard during New Year's break. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. We were the same as we ever were. But something seemed different. I wasn't teasing her today, and she wasn't getting upset with me like usual. That's the usual thing to come to expect with these two, isn't it? He has to tease her, and she has to get upset about it. That's just the way it is. It was just a quiet day to go at home. Huh? Coco was stammering as usual. I remained quiet so she could take her time. Coco always had this habit of carefully choosing her words before saying anything. I waited silently. I waited until she found the right words. Uh, what is it? What if? Let me check. Yes, what if? I made a cliffhanger. <laughs> I'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time.